No one on the internet has done a review of this or an unboxing. I'm the first to review this and unbox it on YouTube. That's cool. Hopefully this video will bring me some views. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so cool. So if you've seen these before, these portable espresso machines usually have, they're all plastic. Even the bottom is like just one spout that's plastic instead of being like a, a stereotypical a stereotypical espresso bottom like with all the hundreds of holes and it coming out all cool oh so this is the first one that it comes out all cool eventually i want to get a manual one but the market for those is much wider and difficult to sift out they're more expensive too this is only a hundred bucks on sale on amazon it's like 150 dollars regularly it just came out good it comes with stuff all these like tools the press the cool press oh cool it's got the textured press this is the little funnel Let's see what the see what the let's call it the basket oh this feels so good oh my goodness Oh my god this is so simple it's gonna be so easy to clean how it's rounded like that at the bottom this is gonna be so awesome i'm going to be offering espresso sheep milk lattes oh my goodness okay so oh my gosh it's magnetic too Perfect. That's like the perfect amount of. First, I was like, "Oh, that would. How's that gonna work?" Oh, that's perfect. Wow. So the grinder dumps it in here, and then the other side, and this tamp goes down. It's pretty weighty. I wonder how far down it goes. So it goes down. It goes down like oh, it goes down to to this, dude. Oh my god, that's gruesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Why do they even have this? What is this for? <laughs> this is this is the size of the basket that they normally have on these portable <laughs> electric um, espresso makers. The baskets on them are so pitiful they're so they're not this this narrow but they're not much they're not much wider than that they're pretty pathetic and they just have like maybe 24 holes at the bottom and then one hole at the, at the bottom that it actually exits out of so you got this weird like in between layers of like some o-rings unnecessary o-rings and stuff that just absorbs color and flavor and yeah they're small baskets um that pull really really small weak shots this is like four times maybe not four times but it's, it looks like three times the basket capacity of all of the electric portable battery powered espresso makers um, machines that they've they've made in the past this is like a huge advancement two and three fourths wide i bet you yeah, that all of the other ones are closer to two and a half they're like the the diameter of the inside of this this gray ring which doesn't seem like a lot but i think that this this one does come with a, a larger capacity reservoir this is definitely a bigger reservoir i, I don't know what the stats are on it it's got battery in it oh so awesome i love how things come <sighs> things come charged nowadays the seal on this this is like rubber with like a space behind it and this seal is a lot more quality and 
Yeah. That's about it. That's cool. Everything about this is more quality, like a step more quality than the regular Sarah that I ordered. And it just, it came out a little whole and it just, uh, I don't know, I I was just starting to drink coffee at the time, so I wasn't as into it. I didn't realize how nerdy it was. I don't know, I did read it. That's why I started drinking it. Just because it got so nerdy. 70 milliliters. Oh, so it does say 80 milliliters. So, so I think the, the original Sarah's are 60 milliliter maximum. And this one is 80 milliliters, it looks like. That's cool. So I think the original Sarah portable espresso makers are 40 milliliters or maybe 60 milliliters. Yeah, I think they're 60 milliliters and this looks like it's about 80. Because the top line says 70 milliliters and then the max is right above that. I'm guessing 80. It's not 75. Yeah, 80. What do you think? So yeah, it's definitely a larger capacity though. It looks larger. Oh, and that, that seals so much better. Listen to that. That insulates so well. I could pour in boiling water. So the only thing that sucks is setting it down. It just feels like you shouldn't be setting it down. Like especially on my dirty counter. But I guess all of the espresso like it streams to the center and falls down. So none of this, even if I had freaking uh, hair hanging from over here, as long as it didn't get in the path or whatever. Ah, this is so cool, dude. So cool. This is fucking ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Where's the max line? I'm drip, drip, dripping. There it is. I'm maxed out. And this is completely like sealed. So. <laughs> That's so awesome. Oh, I'm going to be able to Here's my selling point. From the front of my wagon, I'll be able to hold this up and show show them with their cup underneath. And they'll be able to watch. Whereas Bruce just, you can't go behind the counter and watch that. And usually it's like underneath, so you have to you'd have to get down. This is, I can lift up. I can be in their car. I can do it just right next to their car for them. Oh, it's boiling. You can hear it. Oh. It's 10 second pause for it to, uh, I guess, soak the bag. For it to soak, soak into the puck. And then it starts the pressure again. Oh. What a show. What a show. Let me do this car side for people. Oh, that's so cool. Roadside espresso shots. Ah. So ridiculous. Yeah. 
Oh. I don't think it tastes good. I don't know coffee though. I don't like that though. How easy this is. <laughs> so cool. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, it feels so cold. Interesting. Let's try to dump the puck. Oh my God. Oh my God. First of all, let's see. This doesn't even need to be cleaned. The bottom of this could use a squirting. So really, you only just need to clean these two things. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That's so much, so much quicker and easier to clean than my French press. That's ridiculous. All right, let's see how well this dumps out. That's really dry. Wow. I thought it would have a lot more water in it. But I guess the, the air pressure continues to push the last bit of water through and out. That's interesting. Wow, it's so easy to clean. This is gonna be so easy to clean. It's waterproof. I don't care about spraying it. Clean. Yeah. I'm able to just hold it under my armpit. Why? Clean out the basket, I held the basket in my mouth. Just two parts like this? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna be able to keep everything clean with my little sprayer that plugs into the back of my wagon. Let's see what happens if I put in a little bit more water than even that. So I don't have to like really measure it out. I think that just filling it up and letting it squirt over, so to speak. I wonder if that'll work. See what happens. Okay. It does force water through. I'm gonna plug it in. So ridiculous. So ridiculous. Look at that. I got a freaking espresso machine. <laughs> so ridiculous. So ridiculous. Oh, I wish I could add warm cream. I can only do that like right right after I milk. If I time my morning morning milking for when my coffee is getting done, then I can add the 104.5 degree body temperature of the sheep's milk. When it, right when it comes out and it won't it doesn't cool down the coffee All right, I'm going to get a heater a milk a milk warmer milk steamer frother all in one it's gonna be so freaking amazing everything's gonna be on that everything's gonna be on the basket right there with the carafe that huge thermos I could have a tea in there I have espresso I want to make like little little fold fold up uh arms little tabletop arms uh, on both sides so maybe even on the front side so it opens up and i got like a little bit of counter space to set the um set that espresso maker and the grinder and stuff i wish this had a little a little perfectly fitting metal cap something qual as quality as this plastic cap would be better than no cap but yeah that'd be nice if they had some quality cap to just fit over the end of this to keep uh, dirt out and make you feel a little bit better about setting it down it is nice though that that's recessed so and if it was recessed any less then I would certainly feel bad about setting it down on my dirty counter because of the 
the level of <laughs> dirt that's on there wouldn't be able to reach that but that's uh that's up in there far enough that i'd have to have pebbles pebbles out on there for it to make contact with it so this is actually it's reasonable but it'd be nice if there was lid that's the only thing i can think of that that's the only thing i can think of as an improvement on this so ridiculous this is my routine that's hilarious here's my workflow <laughs> it's so funny how many videos i've been watching trying to learn how to roast wild edibles and ended up getting totally roped into this nerd culture of freaking coffee not even just coffee espresso it's ridiculous it's fun it's, it's like the science of it is really even more um, entertaining than cheese making it's very similar to cheese making in a lot of ways fascinating I'm having fun making making these. I love how well it, it uh, accepts the threads. It's beautiful. It's really good. Look at this. All right, and I think I um I think I I, I put it in there boiling water right off. And it, uh, I think that, that was a mistake because it, yeah, it, um, was boiling when it came out. When it came out of the bottom, it was actually boiling, like bubbling. It was crazy. Give it a couple seconds in here. Hilarious. See how this milk is. Hopefully, it didn't curdle. I need to get a steamer. Oh no, it's curdled. It did. That's not curdled. That's just the flan on the top. That's not bad. squirts oh I didn't use the little I didn't use the little uh, wire thing to to stir it up I just tamped it I just like tapped it on on my uh, bench and then tamped it I didn't stir it up that's why it just squirted because there was a bad channel in there learning <laughs> He's just fired. All right. Now let's check this. Milk. Oops. That'd be hilarious. Start trying to do the art. <laughs> no. Oh, I got to do the froth. You can't just pour in milk. Milk isn't lightweight enough. To, um, to stay on top to do that art. Didn't stir it, squirted from channeling so bad, and I scalded my milk. And there's like visible chunks of scalded milk <laughs> in my latte. In my latte. <laughs> YouTuber coffee culture would <laughs> love this. It's so good though. It's so good and it's not even like I can't wait to get the frother. It's gonna be not scalded milk taste. And it'll be textured with a bunch of microfoam. Mmm. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. All I gotta do. I gotta do 
all I gotta do, yeah, is clean two things. I just squirt the bottom of this and tap this out and squirt this basket. And this ring doesn't even, even if it had anything in it, it wouldn't affect anything. It doesn't get anything in it. This is one of the easiest things to clean. I'm so pleasantly surprised. That shot pulled. That's nice. I used my own grinder. And you can see the little bubbles rising up inside. That's so fun. No way it's picking up on this camera. Little bubble, tiny bubbles rising. That cream, crema is rich. Rich looking. Need to back my spoon to check it out. Oh yeah, that's rich. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. Real crema. Oh, that's the best extraction I've gotten so far using my own grinder so i was trying to use the stores grinder and because i assumed that mine couldn't get fine but i just i just got one of each of the columbia and the peru and grinded it up into a coarse i got columbia finest espresso grind and i have the coarsest espresso setting they had two of them uh, and they had a turkish one that was even finer than that and i didn't think to do that um but obviously they my hand grinder gets finer but, but my little twenty dollar little grinder grinds finer than their finest espresso setting finally i pulled a shot an actual espresso shot nice and i definitely think it could go even finer than than what this was able to achieve because and it'll be better because it seems like it's um coming out runnier than and I watch on YouTube. That is beautiful, though. That's cool. It tastes great. It tastes way better than any of the other shots that I pulled. All the other ones were like coffee. And this is actually like espresso. It tastes... I, now I get it. I'm going to pour it in here. I love it with my sheep milk. It tastes so good. Look at all that crema. I need a longer tongue. Get down in there. That's crazy. All right. Yeah, I think it's pretty clear this machine is pretty awesome. You could literally carry it in your pocket and be making espresso shots throughout the day. Oh, that's good. It's even better when I warm the milk past 110 degrees. When you warm milk past 110 degrees, some chemical processes happen and it ends up tasting sweeter, noticeably. Sheep milk is already sweeter than, than all the other milks, goat and cow milk. So making it even sweeter is like you added honey to, to the milk and you didn't even have to add honey or any sweeter. Wow, dude, that's good. I don't even need the whole thing. I should have shot that. That was a really good shot, dude. That was badass. Oh, my God. I need to get a cup or something for all of the... There's like five milliliters or something that's, that spills out each time. It'd be really cool if I could get a designated cup, catch cup. I just made a super secret coffee station by my bed. Everything in order from beginning of the workflow to the end. <laughs> it's got my scale, my hand grinder, my little spritzer for the beans before I put it in the grinder, my little flick tool Sarah Plus Pro I just leave it plugged in and then behind that once I pick that up 
I grab this at the same time because I unscrew this and start loading the puck. And then after I'm done, clean it out. I throw it, throw it back there. I have my two cups right here. And my frothing wand there. And back here I've got my little vial of pre-weighed 18 grams of coffee beans ready. And I try to have I try to have 18 grams just ready in the grinder. And then I dump it back out into my hand and spritz it, shake it, put it back in the grinder. And that's my workflow. And the whole thing plugs into my second battery back here that's dedicated just to that. It'll be just dedicated to the coffee station and my ice cream machine. And then my second battery up front powers my, my under bed fridge. It doesn't have much in it right now. I don't even have it on. Just got a liver. A liver left. I'll eat tonight. Yeah. So I'm able to... I'm literally able to just unplug it right here pick it up good sheep yeah and I made it to fit right here right there and actually I'm gonna be having it set back a little bit further like that so that people can get to their selection and their cups and then I just run this through here. Just need to make my sign now. What you guys think? What should we call it? Sheep milk coffee shop? Sheep milk coffee shop. <laughs> These liquid nails on this box. It's still drying. I gotta leave the duct tape on until it dries. Sheep milk coffee shop.